My first name is West Lee. That's W-E-S-T-L-E-Y. Last name is Thomas, T-H-O-M-A-S. I made meritorious sergeant in Vietnam, uh, July 65 to May of uh, 69. What happened here today uh, was a very uh, enlightening and rewarding experience because I have friends that I grew, went to high school with from where I live at in Staten Island, whose names are on the wall. And I get very touched emotionally uh, because these are people that I grew up with and went to school with. And uh, just, uh, I can be able to take that back home when I go back to New York and share with some of the other Staten Islanders that have family members that, that served and some that are still alive today and some that are still suffering today and those that have passed on. Events like these, it pulls us all together because we're serving this nation. If we didn't do this, we wouldn't have the freedoms that we enjoy today as a Marine serving in Vietnam, seeing all the death and destruction, the refugee camps, the, 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 the sanction, all of that stuff. Uh, it's very touching. And it should let everybody know that freedom is not free. It felt like I was receiving a thank you for my service. Just a great experience, you know, just, to, just to, to know that we're being honored and being recognized. Because 50 years is a long time. When I joined the service, I was only 18. You know, in Vietnam, I was 19. You know, putting your life on the line for the country. The Vietnam veterans, they served the nation. They put their lives on the line. They made a sacrifice. Some made the ultimate sacrifice. And we deserved the recognition. They brought tears to my eyes, tightness in my chest, and it brought me back to Vietnam it's just to see the names and it brings back memories and uh, it's very heartening to know that there's so many veterans that, that served this, this nation and, and so many have sacrificed, you know, especially during the Vietnam War. And whenever I meet another veteran, I get an adrenaline rush because I have a lot to share with them that can maybe help make their life better because I know where I've come from. My name is Staff Sergeant Anna, A-N-A, Villanueva, V-I-L-L-A-N-U-E-V-A. I am the Logistics Manager for Marine Week. So this morning at 0730, the Marines and I um, did a cleanup at Hart Plaza um, for the city of Detroit um, for Marine Week. It's important for the Marines to pay back to the community. Um, it's an honor for us to come to Detroit and the city has been great and has been wonderful, opened their arms to us and has allowed us to, to do events um, to commemorate the veterans and the active duty service members of uh, the United States Marine Corps. Um, so we are extremely proud and we want to be able to somehow, some way, give back to the, to the city of Detroit and the community. The Marines were extremely honored to put this wall up. Um, they, there were no complaints. Everybody was excited. Everybody did it on time. If anything, they actually set it up in a record uh, time today just because of the fact that they knew how, how much this means to the, the veterans of the city of Detroit um, and they know that this is one way to pay back. The importance of the young Marines is that they understand our history, they learn our history. A lot of times, you know, going through the Corps, a lot of Marines don't get educated on, uh, you know, the more in-depth aspect of what the veterans go through, especially the Vietnam veterans. Um, so this in itself was a way to get those young Marines to see what the, you know, the history of our, of our Marine Corps is, what our, uh, the history of our Vietnam veterans is. Um, and they, they truly learn today just by reading the names on every piece of this wall, just by helping set up this wall, um, what, what that past was. And it's, it, sometimes, you know, we don't recognize or we don't realize how much past and how much history we have in the Marine Corps until you, you do little things like setting up a wall or setting up a red carpet or setting up plants or lights or whatever the case may be. The Marine Week program set up a, a Vietnam Veterans Pinning Ceremony. The pinning ceremony is basically um, the, the Marines commemorating the Vietnam veterans um, with uh, pinning them with a lapel pin from the Vietnam Veterans Commission, um, which honors them for their service and recognizes their, their um, service to our country during the Vietnam War. It is important for us to recognize who the Vietnam veterans are from the city of Detroit, from honestly every part of the world. Um, they, when they first 
you know, arrived from the war, a lot of people didn't recognize what they did for our country. And now that we understand, it's imperative for us to recognize them for their service. I'd just like to say I'm extremely honored to um, be able to assist in setting up this wall and cleaning up the park for the city of Detroit. It, we have to pay our, you know, our due diligence. We have to respect our veterans. We want to, we want to commemorate our veterans, honor our veterans, and let them know how thankful we are for, for their service. We're so appreciative to the city of Detroit and also to the Marine Corps uh, for everything that they do for all of our freedom. We're so in awe and so humbled by this wall. I think that 